Hello guys, this is Karu Boys and today I'm going to show you the first program that everyone learns when he or she starts learning programming languages. Yes, the famous Hello World program. I'll be showing you the Hello World program in seven different programming languages. I'll start out with Java and then move to C, C++, JavaScript, HTML, Python and Batch Script. Okay, so let's get started with Java first. I'll use Notepad++ for writing code. Okay, so let's start. As you know that Java is object-oriented programming language, so first we need to create a class. I'll name it Hello Java. Okay. Now, after creating the class, we need to create one method named is mean method okay every java program needs a mean method because it is the entry point of the program this is the first method that gets executed okay and its syntax is public static void mean and then in parameters we passed arguments and inside the main method we will write system dot out dot int ln hello world okay so this is the r the simplest program of java language now we'll see how to run this program so for running first we'll save this program i'll save it uh, on desktop inside hello world program hello world folder so i'll name it as hello java dot java this file name should be same as the class that we have created inside the program so now we have saved our program i'll go to desktop hello world now our file is saved here i'll open command prompt and now we need to compile this so for compiling we need java c java c means java compile then name of our file hello java dot java okay so there are no errors our program compiled successfully and you can see in hello world folder one new file got created hello java dot class now we'll execute this program using java then hello java without dot java extension great now you can see it has printed hello world so this is our first hello world program in java now we'll move to c language for c programming language we'll use an online editor we'll use code chef website ide this is a very nice website for learning about programming languages. It has a very simple user interface. Let it load. Okay. Now, here you can see one drop down where we can select what programming language you want to use. So, we will select C. And in this editor, we'll write our own code. So, let's get started. First of all, we need to include a header file. So, we, we write include in the angle brackets stdio.h this stdio.h file contains the functions that are used for performing standard input output operations now after including the file we'll create the main method the syntax is very simple int and then main int is the written type of this method now inside main we'll write print f and in as a parameter, we'll pass the string that we want to show. So this is our hello world. And after this, we'll return zero. This return zero is mandatory because, because its written type is integer. Now we'll run this program and in bottom, we'll get the output. Hope it, pr hope it prints hello world. So our program runs successfully. So I'll again explain this code. 
first of all include the file that contains the function that we are using so printf is the function that is mentioned inside stdio.h and in the main method we are just calling printf function then return zero and then run the program so we get the hello world now we'll move to c++ c++ okay it's syntax is, syntax is almost similar to c language here earlier we include stdio.h but in c++ it is io stream io stream input output stream now we are mentioning this one namespace we can learn about this in later videos but uh, right now let's just uh, uh, include this line and similar we have this main method here we'll uh, write our function that prints to the console hello world see in c the function was printf but in c++ it is c out with two opening angle brackets now we'll run the program it should print hello world oh we what did we miss okay we missed a semicolon here okay now again run the program hello world it it is it compiled and run successfully so guys if you if you do not want to uh, include this line what we can do is we have to in, include this uh, scope resolution operator and then again we can run the program so again we can see it has printed hello world so this is our c++ program now let's move to python the python code is very very simple code i'll again use notepad and i believe this is going to be the simplest of all the only statement is print in brackets i'll write hello world and then we need to save this program i'll save it on desktop inside hello world program and name it as python hello python okay we'll name it hello python with the extension dot py dot py is the extension for python programs okay now it is saved so now we'll run this program so again to run this program open the command prompt write python and then mention the name of the program this is hello python dot py now you see it has printed the hello world so it is the simplest of all the programs okay after python we'll move to html html is a hypertext markup language used in websites its syntax is very simple we need to write html then close the html whatever these are called as tags whatever tag we open we need to close them now inside html we'll write our head tag then again close the head tag after head we'll create our body tag then click close the body tag okay so inside head we can mention our title title tag title and close the title hello html we'll see uh, what does this title do and inside body we'll print hello world now we'll save this file again inside hello world and this time we'll name it hello html dot html now 
go to the file location here is our file now open it it will open in web browser here you can see the title of the tab is hello html now this is the word that we put inside title and inside body we printed hello world so it has printed the hello world here so this is our hello world program for html now let us see how we'll use javascript inside html and with that we'll see hello world for javascript so in order to write javascript in html we need this uh, tag script s c r i p t then s c r i p t now inside this script tag we will write our javascript code so alert alert is a javascript function that shows a pop up so now let us save this hello html dot uh, html and again go to the browser where we had already opened our html now reload this so as you see when we reloaded the file uh, the page we see hello world as a pop up so this is because of the javascript so this is you can say is the hello world for javascript now the hello world for batch programming so the batch programming as you know is uh, used in windows for writing batch code that can be executed from cmd so batch is again very simple in echo we'll write hello world now let's save this hello batch with the file name hello batch dot bat bat is extension for batch files now in order to execute this will go to hello dot batch and double click on this file as you can see a command prompt uh, command window is getting open but it is getting closed so we'll pause the command window now save it and again run it okay so as you can see here hello world is printed and it is now waiting for any key to continue so that it can exi uh, exit and that was because of our pause command so this is our hello world for batch class so guys we are done with our seven programming languages we used java then c c++ python html javascript and batch script so if you like this video hit the like button below and do not forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching